This is to install the software Distruct for visualizing the results of the population genetic software structure or the closely related software Fast Structure. These instructions are under Ubuntu Linux version 20.04. If you do not have a computer running Ubuntu Linux, you can set up one for free within your Windows or Mac computer as a virtual machine. In fact, I am running Ubuntu Linux right now as a virtual machine within my Mac computer using VirtualBox. See the instructions below for installing Ubuntu Linux for free on VirtualBox if you need to do so. To get started, you need to have this website pulled up. I have the link in the notes below. Open up a terminal window. Copy this line of code and paste it into the terminal window and hit enter. It will ask for your password. Type it and hit enter. Don't worry about the two errors. Next, you need to go to the web page for downloading Distruct. Click on the one for Linux. When it is finished downloading, you can either double click on it here, or if that's not available, you can open up files go to your downloads folder and double click on it from there. The program is in a compressed folder. We're viewing the program right now within that compressed directory, so it cannot be used yet. We need to move it out of that compre compressed directory. To do so, come here to files, right click, and then click new window or if you're on a Mac, you can control click. Next, go to your home directory. Go to the bin folder within your home directory. If you do not have one, create it. Drag the program Distruct 1.1 from the compressed directory into your bin directory. Then close the compressed directory. And you can also close your downloads folder. To run Distruct, we need to go into the Distruct folder. To do that, in terminal, type cd space and then drag the folder into your terminal and hit enter. When we need to run Distruct, any files that we want to visualize need to be within that destruct folder. Furthermore, we need to set this file called draw params. Double clicking on it will open it up in your text editor. If you have predefined populations, you need to have a file in structure format delineating your individual populations. You need to have a file of the results from your structure or fast structure analysis for every individual showing their percentage of ancestry for the K groups that you want to visualize. Take those results out of structure or fast structure and put them in this folder and put the appropriate name here. There are a bunch of other settings that you may want to play around with for your visualization that can change the color scheme that's used, the dividing barriers in the graph, and other things. If you do not have predefined populations, you will probably want to go through the Draw Params folder and delete anything having to do with populations. When finished, you can click Save and then you can close draw params. To run the program, let's see what's in our destruct folder. This is the file we need to run. This is contrary to directions you may have seen 
if you were looking at the tutorial on the fast structure website for running fast structure. The fast structure website includes instructions for visualizing your results in destruct after you've run fast structure, but those instructions for running destruct appear to be out of date. To actually do it, you set that draw params file, you put your structure results in the same folder with destruct and the draw params file, and then you run this command. to run this file. You'll see some information on your screen. Right now, I'm ju I just have Distruct running the sample data that came with Distruct. Re now, you, you may be wondering that you don't see a pretty graph here as the output, but rest assured it is there. It's in the Distruct folder, and it has this name here. You can change the name of this output image in your draw params file but by default, this is the name of the image. And if you double click on it, you can see that you, that you have produced the output graph. This graph is in SVG format, but you can output it to other uh, graphical image formats.